Now that we have the drive line dropped, the next step was to get the frame on a cradle so that I can get the truck lifted off of the suspension so I can get all of that removed. Um, so over the week, I went ahead and built the cradle, which it's sitting on now, and I also spent an evening cutting the rear suspension off. Um, there was no reason to show you how to disassemble that because the tool was a grinder because everything was rusted together and none of the bolts were moving. So that is now on the ground. I also spent an evening taking apart the passenger side front suspension just so I understood how it came together. So now we are going to work on removing the driver's side and then after that we're going to take off the front diff and the steering and I think that is everything that bolts onto the frame. So at the end of this video I should have a bare frame that I can start repairing. So the first thing that we have to do is disconnect the axle from the hub and then slowly work our way into the inside of the assembly and I'll go through step by step about how that's done. So let's get the camera rearranged so you can see what I'm working on and go ahead and get started on taking the rest of the front suspension off. The first thing we have to do is pop off this cap, take off a nut and washer, and then remove these bolts. And then there are two push locations right here that you thread eight millimeter bolts into and that'll pull the adapter off. And then when that's off, the axle's free and we can remove the steering linkage, unbolt the top and bottom uh, ball joints, and then remove the brake line and the upright and all of this will go off. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. up getting the suspension component off of the truck. The last big components that I have to get off 
are the steering assembly and the front differential. The steering components look like they come off pretty easily, so that's not gonna be a big deal. And the front differential and the drive line looks like it all can come apart in kind of one big chunk. There's a couple of frame mounts, and it looks like if I disconnect four of those, I think. Yeah, it looks like if I disconnect all four of those, it'll just drop as one big unit. So I think I'm gonna do that instead of taking apart different components. So we're gonna go ahead and get those off and then go from there. <laughs> have it. The truck is fully disassembled and it is only a frame now which is amazing. <laughs> With that I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Um, I've got a lot of cleanup in the garage to do and I don't think you really want to watch that. So uh, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I do hope you enjoy these videos because I enjoy making them and bringing you along on this adventure. Hopefully it gets a lot more interesting now since we're finally putting things back together. If you want to get updates of when I release new videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see the progress of the truck throughout the week, you can follow me on Instagram at NabbleRabble. I'll put that on the bottom of the screen. Next couple videos are going to be a little bit different, but still we're dealing with the truck. I guess the only thing to say is I will see you in the next one. Bye.